You just got the radio on, right? And what's coming across, frankly, is static and nothing. And then this thing. This magic moment. I think my brother had everything going against him in the history of the world, from poverty to illness to incapacitation. And yet, out of this, he was able to produce some of the most romantic, yearning, innocent music that is about as truthful and as deep and as beautiful as popular music can be. You can dance. Here we have a man with polio who cannot dance, writing the most wonderful dance song ever. I still can't think of that song without feeling very sad and happy same time. When the Beatles arrived in New York, I think everyone in the Brill Bovany sensed that the end was coming. Singers were writing their own songs. And the only way Doc could figure out to earn a living was by gambling. Well, I always felt that writing songs was like gambling to me. You know, it was always a different kind of gambling. Somebody told me about this game on West 72nd Street. I noticed this row of gold records, Elvis Presley and Dion and the Drifters and holy mackerel, you know, who is this guy? I had heard that Doc Thomas is actually gonna give people songwriting classes. This is great, sign me up. He's one of the greatest songwriters in the history of the world. What an amazing thing to do. Dylan said, I'm having trouble writing lyrics. Would you write lyrics for my next songs? Now that to me was the silliest thing I ever heard, but he was serious. Sometimes I wonder, just what am I fighting for? I win. He doesn't have all the parts working perfectly, and yet to me, he's a guy who's been over the mountaintop and reported back from the other side. That's gotta be, that's gotta be, gotta be a better world somewhere.